I've been studying every F1 track in reverse so that I can see the tracks from a different perspective and I can also see more corners for my own driving and coaching practice. This is Monza and as with the normal direction in Monza, the key is to not upset the platform of the car as you go through these high speed corners. What I mean by that is this is not a track that favors abrasive, aggressive, attacking driving. The key is to not throw the weight around too much with the steering so that then you can just sweep in and carry good speed throughout the corner. When you do this, the car's platform, balance and aerodynamics remain uninterrupted and you can get on the throttle harder and earlier, which is going to reward you down the straights. Technical corners are still relevant in this track. Initially, we had the first decreasing radius corner and here we had another three chicanes to finish the lap as well. There's two professional level techniques that I'm using in this lap and I want to see if you can guess what they are. If you think you know what these two professional techniques that I'm using are, then leave a comment down below and I'll give out a prize to the person who can identify both. If you have any other questions or comments, also leave them down below. And if you're a formula driver who's interested in having me as your private one-on-one -on -one coach, click the link in my bio and watch the free training.